Okay, so the next part uh, of this lecture is scanning edge detection. And let's quickly go over the steps uh, we have uh, in this uh, edge detector. Same, same as like the previous uh, algorithms, we will first smooth the image. And again, we are using Gaussian filter here. Then we are using first order derivative uh, to find the edges. Like in Mar Hildreth, we saw second order derivative, but again, we move back to single order derivative. Then the next step is we find the magnitude, which again, we did for Sobel and we did for Privet as well. Now, this is something new. We will also rely on the orientation of the gradient. All right. So this we know how to compute it. Then these are additional steps we have not uh, seen before in the, in the prior algorithms. So orientation is the first. Then the second is non-maximum suppression. We will talk about what non-maximum suppression is. And then again, we will uh, apply thresholding, which we have done before as well, but this is slightly different. I think a better version of uh, thresholding. And this is called hysteresis thresholding. We'll also talk about this. Okay. So basically, uh, the first two steps remain the same. This we have seen. So partially, we know the third step as well. These three are the additional steps, and we'll go into more detail of, of these steps. Now, this is like, let's say your input image, and this we know is like uh, the, the this is like derivative, first order derivative of a Gaussian filter. Again, this is just visualization uh, of the smooth filter, which will look something like this when you look from the top. Okay, so this is in X direction, this could be in Y direction. And again, so this is interesting, right? So filtering, we, we, we discussed this earlier as well. It's kind of pattern matching. So whatever pattern we want to see in your input image, we use the same pattern in your filter. And this you will see like over and over again, even when we talk about uh, convolution neural networks, there also we will see that uh, it's all about pattern matching. And so if you look at this, this is kind of going from very bright pixels, pixel to very dark pixel, right? And that's exactly what edge looks like. You go from like a very negative value to a very positive value. Your values are changing, right? Values are changing. So the filter actually looks like that. And if you're using such a filter, it means that it's trying to find pattern like this in your input data. And of course, this is like you can see uh, the vertical edges and this is the horizontal edges. And that's why like using these two different derivative kernels or you can say Gaussian kernels help you in finding edges in different, different directions. Okay, so the these are again the same steps we have seen earlier, input image, X derivative, Y derivative on the smooth, smoother image, nothing new. And this uh, is the magnitude, uh, this also we have seen. So this is basically similar to your private uh, edge detection or Sobel edge detection, all right? So we won't go into detail of this. This is something new. So once you have these edges, what we do is we try to find the orientation of the edges, which means like in which direction uh, we have edges in the input image, all right? So this is just one visualization and Essentially, what's happening at each pixel location, we are trying to determine in which direction the edge actually lies. We're trying to find the orientation and you know the formula to, to compute that, okay? So if, if you try to understand this visualization, we have actually used uh, a color for each direction, right? Because you have like, let's say 360 different directions and you can easily assign like one color to each direction. It could be a smooth, a uh, smooth map or something, color map or something like that, right? So if you look at this, uh, the red color is actually looking at all the, the, the edges which are tilted towards left, right? So you can see like this is red and these are like slightly red. This is also red, right? So all the edges in this direction. So which means that it's kind of giving a sense of in which direction the edges are actually placed in this input image. All right. And again, so that's red. And again, blue you can see is like all the edges towards the right. Now, how we get these values? So this is just color coding. So you have the orientation of each pixel and you use the color from, from a dictionary or a color map and just plot that. So it's just visualization. But how you get that orientation, you, you know like the formula of, let's say tan inverse uh, fx over fy or fy over fx, right? You can just use that formula to get these orientations at each location. Okay. 